Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke if you're new here and today I'm finally doing this long awaited video. It's like a life catch up. I know I've been vlogging and stuff um, and interspersed between these past few months and I know um, things have come up and I've taken a lot of weeks off so I just kind of wanted to do a little chit chat like where I'm at in my life. I wanted to talk about my summer plans because I end school in like a week and a half which is so crazy and I'm going home for the summer for a little bit and stuff so I just wanted to talk about everything. I just recently turned 21. You've probably seen it in like all my videos. It's been in like so many videos recently. I have a bunch of balloons back there but I have been posting so much on social media so be sure to keep up with me on Instagram and stuff. I've been trying to get way more into Instagram and Instagram stories and also snapchat i made my snapchat public so if you want to go follow me it's just my name at brooke Michio, and you can keep up with me on there more random life updates like if little things pop up i'm usually more inclined to post it like on social media like quick social media like that rather than make a video about it i'm just more on my phone more i guess Does that makes sense if you're new to my channel i am a junior marketing major which is in the business school at the University of Georgia. So um, I always knew I kind of wanted to do business. That was just something that I saw my mom doing it when I grew up, honestly. So that really inspired me. And then I was actually really fortunate. I had business classes available in my high school. So I took some of those and knew I was really, that was just what I wanted to do with my life. And um, doing YouTube at a young age definitely like made me want to do business because I was working with brands and kind of doing my own form of marketing in a way. So I did a bunch of that stuff when I was younger. So just kind of fell into my lap that business is what I wanted to do with my life. I, I'm gonna do a video all about my major and classes I recommend and stuff probably later into senior year because I don't really have like a ton of recommendations yet I'm starting not starting to like I've taken a lot of my major classes already So but I'm gonna do a video all about my major like later on But basically at UGA you can kind of choose two different paths with marketing So you can either do the professional selling route or digital marketing or you don't have to choose one And you could kind of just take a mix of classes from both but digital marketing is definitely what like intrigued me um, More with like digital media and like ad buying and stuff like that I know these are like I'm throwing out big terms but like I said if you know what I mean you know what I mean so that's definitely like the path that I knew I wanted to go so I went ahead and put that so that's like my area of emphasis but I, I'm a business major I don't have any minors or anything if you're wondering so that's just me <laughs> I have a few like major points of updates that I wanted to say and a lot of people asked questions about um, the digital marketing competition that I did so that's like a competition with my school where I only compete with people from my school it was about like 25 to 30 teams basically of like four to like six people People basically and you compete and we got a client so my client was um, they choose they choose a different client every year so the client this year was Turner Broadcasting specifically Filmstruck which is like their Netflix for like indie films I know this is like so over some people's heads so you could just skip this portion of the video if you're not interested but um, I got a bunch of questions so I figured I'd clarify so it's basically like their Netflix for like indie films like I said and we had to kind of create a marketing strategy for them to target college students and my group actually won the entire competition and the prize for that was was a trip to San Francisco. So that's why I just went to San Francisco. We toured like Google, Dropbox, and a few local, not local, but a few like startups in downtown San Fran. And I freaking love San Fran. If you guys are from that area, I'm sure you guys know how lucky you are. It's a really, really great area. But also kind of going along with school, I guess a big thing um, when you're a junior in college, you might know this, is to get an internship because you're supposed to like, you know, do an internship and then kind of go like a year from now when I'm graduating, I would be like set up to get a full-time job because I've already had that internship experience under my belt. And I kind of went back and forth for a while on like what type of internship I wanted to do and I knew I knew I knew I wanted to do one I know I know a lot of other youtubers pursuing the same path that I am like in college and stuff decided not to do an internship because YouTube really is a full-time job if you do it correctly obviously I haven't been doing it like to its fullest extent but I knew that I could have if I like put the time in like for example last summer I really grew my YouTube a lot because I like put a lot of time into it and stuff basically this summer I knew I wanted to do like a full-on internship like nine to five sort of deal and I applied to a bunch and I definitely got some follow-up things um, but you guys probably know it's really really competitive to get internships, especially marketing and especially in New York City. So that was really hard. I did broaden my search. I didn't really want to go to like California because I already did that my freshman year of college. I went to California for a bit. So I kind of played around with like where I wanted to be. And I definitely said East Coast. I really wanted to be in New York, but you'll see what happened here. <laughs> applying to a bunch. And then I actually applied for one, which is the one that I ended up doing. And um, I just heard back from them really quickly. And it ended up just like working out really, really well. And I was super excited about it and the team and everything that I met via Skype was just like so exciting. So I actually am interning with QVC in their social media department this summer. A lot of you guys found my link 
LinkedIn. It's very public, so you can go follow me on LinkedIn, I guess, if you want. Um, I'm probably not gonna add you back because I'm keeping my network people I know, but you can follow me if you want. <laughs> so yeah, I'm doing social media for them, and I actually did have a bunch of connections through LinkedIn, which is why I freaking love LinkedIn. I could do a video on LinkedIn if you guys want me to. I know that's super nerdy, but um, I was talking to like a bunch of friends, and they're like, honestly, I feel like I would benefit from your video about LinkedIn because I just, I'm really, not that I'm like really good at LinkedIn, but I, I really like it, so I could do that if you want. I guess the next question following this up would be, um, my mom because I know a lot of you guys know that my mom works with QVC My mom is actually not employed by QVC. She receives like no compensation from QVC as an employee So, um, it actually really had nothing to do with my mom this entire internship Obviously, it definitely piqued my interest because I know she works with them often and I know that she's around that area often So I was like really excited about that because my mom and I are so close obviously I'm not like working for my mom or anything. She actually like I said, she doesn't work for QVC She's like a private rep sort of deal. I did a video with her over the summer where we kind of explain like what her job is so I'll link that in a card but Basically, I'm not working for my mom, but I'm working for QVC and I'm doing social media marketing. So I'm on their social media team and I'm going to be like working on actual like content creation. So like their Instagram and stuff and um, running like their Facebook lives or Instagram lives whenever they have like special celebrity guests. So I think it really is perfect for me because I wanted more of like a career experience. I guess this kind of leads to the next question, which is do I want to do YouTube for the rest of my life? And to that, I say, I don't know. Where I'm at right now, I could see myself getting a career, but who knows, you know, a year from now, things could change dramatically. So I really don't know what I'm doing with my life A lot of people are like you should just do YouTube or a lot of people are like Oh, you have this college education you need to get a job and I'm trying not to let other people's opinions sway me in either direction So I'm just gonna kind of do me and I've been so fortunate with the opportunities I've had with various things like going to Coachella and then with school going to San Francisco So it's really not making the decision any easier um, But I definitely am happy with the place that I'm at right now in a variety of like facets of my life So that's really good. Yeah, QVC is located in Westchester, Pennsylvania So I'm actually moving to Westchester for the summer it's kind of it's like 30 minutes away or like further from where Tori lives my friend Tori who does YouTube as well So I'll be with her a lot this summer, which is really exciting I really don't know many people in that area. So if you're from that area um, I'm not even kidding like hit me up I want to be your friend because I really don't know anyone and yeah, my mom will be there all the time She commutes from Long Island to Pennsylvania um, for work, but I, I'm gonna have an apartment I'm subleasing so I will literally be there all summer and I'm excited I mean, I'm like the type of person who loves to like pick up and do change obviously I came to school from Long Island at the University of Georgia so like super far and I'm comfortable with change I'm comfortable with like meeting new people and new environments and also doing my own thing I love doing things alone like I like going out to eat alone I don't think it's that weird so I'm comfortable with doing that and I guess a lot of people were like surprised that I'm doing this but I'm excited about it. Be sure to keep up with me on socials obviously for how my summer's going. I'm gonna miss my friends on Long Island a lot. This is the first summer that I'm gonna be like gone the whole summer. I'm literally home for like two weeks and then um, I'm going to Pennsylvania so packing up. Speaking of packing up, I guess a lot of people are asking about my living situation for next year and I'm since I'm gonna be a senior in college, I live in this really great new apartment right now. It's a new apartment building. I was the first person to live in it um, with my two best friends Maddie and Mariah so it just worked out really well. In terms of living with my best friends, it's worked out really well. I know for some people it works, some people it doesn't work. And for us, it just works really well. Our personalities really don't clash if we're annoying each other. We are very honest, we just tell each other it's really not that big of a deal. I know that some people living with your best friends is terrible and some people it's great. So for us, I would say it was pretty great. So for next year, we were considering staying here for a minute, but we had um, two friends, Tatiana and Alicia, that needed um, Kind of like a living situation and they were interested in living in a house so we kind of decided to do that instead for our senior year of college to move into a house which i'm really excited about obviously i'm not going to tell you where it is but i'm excited my room is going to be much bigger if you saw my room tour my room size was definitely something i struggled with because my room at home is huge i'm so blessed like to have such a big room but for like filming purposes and stuff it's very difficult for me to fit everything in the room so i'm excited about having a bigger room and getting to furnish it myself it's another stress gotta work on that. My internship goes through like August 11th or something so I come right back and go right back to school so I don't have much time to like figure everything out even though I have the whole summer to figure everything out I'm just physically not gonna be here in Georgia so that's my plan and other than that I don't know what other updates I have that's like my summer plans uh, I would love to hear some of your summer plans if any of you guys have any really cool internships I know you guys are like geniuses and you work really hard and stuff so I would love to hear where you guys are interning I think that would be really cool if you have an internship not that it's required I don't want to make anybody feel like they're like not doing the right thing like I said um, for me I feel like it's something 
something I needed to do because I'm really torn in my life right now with what kind of path I want to pursue and um, I'm so lucky to have like a lot of options on the table so I guess that's the short answer. I am gonna definitely try my best to keep up with YouTube this summer. I will have the weekends and everything to do YouTube and I totally intend to do that and um, I know that you guys constantly, I get some comments that are like lol you said new video in two days but it's not here you know and I, I that's nothing personal it's nothing like oh like screw YouTube I'm just gonna do my own thing. Obviously you know things come up in life and um, as a full-time student, as a full-time you know, involved member of my campus and my sorority, things happen, things come up and it's nothing intentional but I do love YouTube and YouTube is my passion so like I want to make it the best that it possibly can be so I am working on that and I know I say that all the time but please understand where I'm coming from it's nothing like oh she doesn't like us or like she's slacking like I really do care. I just read through some of my questions on Instagram and a lot of you guys asked about like finding an internship so I can do a video about that too. I know it's very interesting because there's a lot of like college YouTubers out there but I feel like a lot of people don't talk about the specifics of like, like I said, like LinkedIn or like finding an internship and stuff like that and I would love to do those videos for you guys. Not that I'm the best at it but I'm like a very real person so giving you like real person advice I feel like might be beneficial if you're interested. So that's really it for this video. Um, I hope you guys are updated. I want to keep everybody in the loop and I feel like that's something I needed to explain like my internship and stuff so I also um, did have done a lot of like self-reflection recently on like the career path that I want to pursue and stuff and yes while I love YouTube and everything I don't necessarily need that to be my career so while my like internship is in social media I don't want everyone to think that like just because you do YouTube you have to do social media like it doesn't have to be that way I'm like a marketing student in general as well so um, I'm learning more broad scope I guess ideas about that um, I'm not really trying to like limit myself and put myself in like a little box for my career I really want to be like a broad-minded individual and have um, a ton of different prospects and like things that I could go into. So I know that that's random, but just a tangent. Oh, I'm getting some calls from Danielle. So I'm gonna go call her back and I am going to head out. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I am vlogging this week. So stay tuned for that exciting vlog. Yay, week of my life, but last week as a junior. Ew, that's so gross. I'm gonna be a senior in college. That's so weird. Ah, okay, bye guys.